Okay, practice 10.4. So, um, when I have an inscribed angle, it's different than a, um, a central angle. If this were a central angle, the measure of this angle would be um, 40 degrees, but that's not the case. So let me just mark this as x. When you have an inscribed angle, if you double the measure of the inscribed angle, you're going to get the intercepted arc. So this would be the intercepted arc. So I can say 2 times x would equal 40 degrees and that means x would equal 20 degrees. So the measure of angle k, that's where the x is, is 20 degrees. Okay. All right, next problem. So this time we know the inscribed angle. We don't know the measure of the intercepted arc, and that's what they're asking us for. But we can just say this is going to be 2 times 72 degrees would be x. So my angle here, um, sorry, my arc is going to be 2 times 72. Um, yeah, I can say 2 times 72 degrees equal x, and that will be 144. And that's the measure that we're looking for here. Okay, next up, um, looking for st. Well, I can't get st um, off the bat, but let's just think what I can do with the 61 degrees. If I double that 61 degrees, that's going to give me the measure of this arc. So that would be 122 degrees. Okay. Now, we're asked for st, which is this piece. So how are we going to get that? Well, the key there is noticing that this is a diameter. Okay. This is a diameter, so it cuts the whole circle in half, and the circle has a total of 360 degrees. So that means that I've got 180 degrees all the way around there. So now I can find this piece pretty easily. I can just say x plus 122 degrees equals 180 degrees. So that would be 58 degrees if I subtract 122 from both sides. So that's the measure I'm looking for. Okay. okay, next problem. Um, got a multiple choice. Um, in the diagram, which statement is true? So I'm guessing they're meaning uh, three of them are false and one is true. So really what I've got a bunch of inscribed angles in this diagram. If the two if I can find two um, inscribed angles that intercept the same arc, then they're going to be congruent to each other. So if I have two different angles that intercept this arc, which I do, right? I have these two angles intercept that arc. Or if I have two different angles that intercept this arc, which I do, I've got this angle and that angle. So I'm looking for one of those. Okay, so let's see. SPR. SPR, that would be, um, you know, this angle where that, that's the vertex right there. And uh, PSQ, PSQ. Well, that, that's this angle and this one. Well, those don't intercept the same arc, so that's going to be a no. Um, I mean, they, they could be congruent, but we don't know they are based on the info. And then we've got RQS and RPS. RQS is right up here, and um, an RPS. RPS. So that's this one and this one. Hang on, those two. RQS and RPS both intercept where I have the dashed line there. So those, that is definitely true. Okay, so let's check the other two. Maybe there's more than one that could be true here. Let's see. RPS, RPS, that's where I have that dot there. And PRQ, PRQ is this one. Those two angles intercept different arcs. This one intercepts the dashed line. That one intercepts the solid line. So that's not going to work. PRQ, PRQ, that's this one. And SQR, SQR, that's, so it's this one and this one. They intercept different arcs. This one intercepts the solid one. This one intercepts the dashed ones. Dashed ones, so the only one that works here is that one. Okay. All right, moving on. In, uh, in all three of these, we've got uh, quadrilaterals that are inscribed in circles. And any time that happens, the angles across from each other, the opposite angles, are going to be supplementary. Okay? And if you think about that, if you think about, like, let's say where the x is, that intercepts all of this, right? And then where the 70 is, this angle intercepts all of that. So between the two of those, 
they intercept, if you add together both those uh, intercepted arcs, it intercepts the whole circle, which is 360. So half of 360, since those are inscribed angles, is going to be 180. Moral of the story, opposite angles are going to be supplementary. So I can say x plus 70 degrees would equal 180. That means x is 110. And I could also say y plus 113 degrees equals 180. So let's see, that's going to be 67 degrees. Okay, same kind of thing here. Well, let's start with the y, that's easy. y plus 90 would be 180. And it looks like this is not to scale, but that's okay. y would be 90 degrees. And separate this a little bit. And then x plus 81. It's going to equal 180. So that would be 99 degrees. Okay, same kind of thing again. So I can say 3x plus 63, those are opposite angles. Equals 180. So I'll subtract 63. And then divide by 3. Or I guess x should, is just what the number that goes in there, so I shouldn't put the degree symbol in my final answer. I guess all of these I really shouldn't have the degree symbol in because it's already in the picture, um, but that's okay. All right, and then um, these opposite angles also, so 4y minus 1 um, and 65 would be supplementary as well. Okay, so I can combine the negative 1 and the 65. Then I can subtract 64. And divide by 4. Okay. All right, next problem. We're looking for a mistake. All right, so um, we're error in finding the measure of angle B. So angle B is right up here. Easiest way to do that is that they're going to be supplementary. Um, so they just said that those opposite angles are congruent. That's that's just false, right? That's not true. So what you want to do instead, opposite angles are instead of I'll just I'll just fix theirs. They should have done this instead of saying that they're congruent and then I subtract 85 so that's going to be 95 degrees. Okay. All right, and the last problem. Um, okay, you make a design using a pencil and a circular circular wheel as shown. Find the measure of angle ABC. Angle ABC is right down here. Okay, so I know that this is 34.6, um, but then I've only got one angle in that triangle, so let's see what else we can do. Oh, we've got 124.6 is the measure of this arc, so I can take half of that. So um, 2 times angle B should equal, so this is for part A, 2 times angle B is going to equal 124.6 degrees, and then I divide by 2, so that would be 112.3. No, it wouldn't, it would be 62.3, sorry. 62.3. Okay, there's, um, I called that angle B, but it's uh, angle A, B, C, right? So if I want to, if I want to name it with three letters. Okay, um, next up, A, C, B, A, C, B, or just angle C. Well, I don't have the arc opposite that, but I just found that this is 62.3 degrees, and now just in the triangle, um, if we're looking at this triangle, it might be a little hard to see on the screen, but I've got two of the three angles, right? I've got the 34.6, got the 62.3, so all three angles are going to add up 
Um, so I'll just call this angle C for now. So I'm going to say 34.6 degrees plus 62.3 degrees plus angle C. And triangle angle sum theorem tells me all three angles are going to add up to 180. Okay, so I'll combine those two. up to 96.9 and then 180 minus 96.9 going to give me 83.1 degrees okay what type of triangle have I got well if you look at the measures all three of these angled measures are acute so this is an acute triangle an explanation well all three angles are acute okay and there we go um, that's the end of the practice assignment see you next time